What's up, little shy big eye peepers? It's your girl, little shy big eyes. And I'm coming to you today because I feel like it is only right that I provide proof that the products I use actually gave me a noticeable and optimal result. I did achieve my goal. And so um, I'll link some before pictures, but if you can see, I mean, you can still see it pretty much, right? Because I have to go out day in and day out. But before, like this part of my my neck, my decolletage was black up. And you guys can see I'm pretty fair skin, right? I am in the bathroom under bathroom lighting, but for the most part, you know, my skin is brown. I'm not dark. <laughs> Like that little Negro said, um, my arm, however, like this part of my um, arms and my hands were extremely dark. I mean like black, black, black. And as you can see now, everything is pretty much uniform, right? And that's what I was really looking to um, achieve. Now on my face, um, I don't know if you can see, my face is pretty clean, pretty clear. I don't have anything on my face. Uh, all I did, it's really early in the morning here. Um, all I did was really wash my face and then pat it dry. I don't have on any makeup, as you can see. Um, yeah, so, yeah, so how I did it, because he's all, then another thing he was saying is, you can't get enough out of the bottle. So uh, I kind of think he didn't give me a chance to explain to her exactly how I was using it. So I'm gonna show you guys what I do. All right, these are the glutathione soft gels, okay? And so I would take four of these, four at one time, and I would also take three tablespoons of this together. And then three of these. So three of the liposomal vitamin C is equivalent to 1000 milligrams of liposomal vitamin C. So I would take six of these a day with each installment. So this regimen was three times a day four of the pills, three tablespoons of the liquid, and three of the liposomal vitamin C pills. I did that for about a month and a half. And like I said, I did see results. I forgot to um, include that I also um, exfoliated my skin gently. And let me just show you how I exfoliated my skin. So I would use these gloves with regular soap, regular Dove soap, because I didn't, I'm a, I'm a lot older. My skin is more, it's thinner um, and it's more, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's more fragile than, you know, someone in their 20s or in their 30s. I'm 44 and I'm happy to say that because I think I look good for 44. Right, but nonetheless, as you get older, you want to be really careful on the, the you know, um, how you rub your skin. I don't want to do something that's irreversible and then, you know, walk around with, <clears throat> with skin that's damaged because I was too rough on it. So I get the, I would use these about three times a day and, uh, not sorry, not three times a day, three days a week, three days a week, three days a week, right? And then I would wash up with a regular rag the other four days. Um, <clears throat> I always exercised because exercising helps blood flow, helps to you know, get the blood pumping and distributing that product throughout your um, body. And I definitely drink a lot of water. So those of you who are looking to achieve a lighter skin tone or correct sun damage, 
Um, that's another reason why I chose the glutathione because you know after a while you get those after as you age you get those age spots those um, sun I think they call them sun spots age spots but they come from the sun they come from the um, free radicals in the air I didn't want them all over my hands or on my decolletage or on my face even though you know um, I don't really see very many African American women experience that. That's more of a Caucasian thing to have the spots all over your decolletage and your hands and face, but whatever. Um, so, you know, um, glutathione being an antioxidant and cleaning you from the inside out, that is why I chose that as opposed to creams or, um, you know, other things. So I hope this helped. I'm going to put down um some pictures or put some pictures here or here of my before and i'm telling you it was drastic like it was it looked crazy it was like dark and you, like i said you can still see it a little bit now right but not as much as it was before you really can't see it now right so I hope this helps someone. I will continue to come with anything that I'm, anything that I'm trying for my skin and my hair, but I like to actually try it. So I'll introduce it. I'll, I'll let you all know that I'm introducing it into my regimen, but I'll go um, in accordance to how often I use it. And let's say I'll give you updates every two weeks. So I am trying some new hair regimens. As you guys can see, my hair is fine and thin, and I'm trying to reverse that. Uh, it's very challenging again once you become a certain age, but we'll see. Um, so I've got some things that I'm um, that I'm ingesting, and I've been on them for a while, but I want to give it one more month, or maybe let's say two more weeks, right? Well, let's just round out the end of the year. I'll come back just before December is out. I'll let you know what I'm on. I have I did take pictures so you'll be able to see pictures, pics, sis. <laughs> and you know, I'll take new pictures of the of the current and see if there's an, been any change. Cuz uh yeah. All you people pushing these products, I'm not having it. It's uh, it's disrespectful. It is. And you would think that you could at least give your honest opinion, especially if you're being given a product and you want people to follow you. You know, it's like I kind of look at you as a scammer. It's like, don't scam me out of my money. Don't scam me just because you want me to follow you because the, the follow is short lived. You know, after I go and I invest in a property in a um, in a product and I see it doesn't work, and I hear other people tell me that it doesn't work, now you look foolish. Now you look um, disloyal, and you look like you just sold yourself out for a product, and I have no respect for you. And so that's a word to the wise. Like, if you do have a channel, I know you're struggling to get views. I understand. Like, I would love for my channel to blow up as well, but just do it for fun. Be authentic, you know, and... Yeah, try to help out. Try to add value. So, there you are. I love you guys. Peace.